shock and relief. That's the feeling among many in the small town of Delphi tonight. This is after state police announced an arrest in a five-year-old murder case. Police are not revealing the name of the suspect until a news conference scheduled for Monday. News 8's Adam Pinsker is in Delphi and talked to some people in that community tonight, Adam. Yeah, Phil, you know, there's a feeling here that Delphi is so much more than just the murders of Abby and Libby. People in this town know each other. They know the victims' families as well. So there's a big sense of relief after they learn today about the, uh, an arrest in this case. From a park outside town to downtown Delphi businesses, the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German can be felt everywhere and by nearly everyone. If I go out and say, where are you from, oh, Delphi, they're like, oh, where the murders were, like, well, yeah. Chandler Underhill manages the brick and mortar pub on East Main Street. He never thought he would see the day a suspect in Abby and Libby's murders would be brought to justice. Shock, disbelief. Like, is it, like, why today? In February 2017, the girls' bodies were found on a trail on the east side of town. In the past few weeks, state police divers have searched the Wabash River, fueling speculation that there may be a break in the case. Last week, Keegan Klein faced charges in Miami County for operating a social media account to solicit pictures from underage girls. And investigators say the account communicated with Libby German the day she disappeared. It's not known if Klein will be facing murder charges in this case. Are we looking at the person that they think is the killer? Do they think others are involved or this man acted solo? Andy Kane hosts the Murder Sheet podcast. It started a couple of years ago and has followed this case every step of the way. She was surprised to hear an arrest in the case. There's always ups and downs in the case where something seems to be happening and then maybe nothing seems to be happening. But right now, I mean, this is a huge development. So we can only hope that this means answers for the families are coming up. And in that press conference on Monday, there'll be members of the Carroll County Sheriff's Office, the Prosecutor's Office, State Police, and the U.S. Marshals Service. That press conference starts at 10 a.m. on Monday. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Adam, thank you. I want to get you caught up now on the case. Abby and Libby were dropped off at the Monon High Bridge February 13th, 2017. Police found their bodies the next day. Police released a sketch of the suspect on the 15th, then a week later released a video, an audio clip captured on Libby's phone. Two days later, police served a search warrant at the home of Kagan Klein and his father. In April of 2019, police released a second sketch saying new information led to the updated drawing. Late last year, prosecutors charged Klein with child porn. He's still not listed as a suspect in the murders of Abby and Libby. Then today, sources telling uh, Wish TV that the arrest has been made in connection with the Delphi murders. Police have not given any more information. And you can watch that entire news conference on the Delphi murders right here on Wish TV and online at wishtv.com starting at 10 a.m. on Monday.